Hello, my name is Maurice and I'm going to talk to you today about how you can check and monitor your blood pressure accurately at home using a home monitor device. You will be wondering what's the best device to buy to measure your blood pressure at home. If you have a look at Irish Heart Foundation's website, irishheart.ie, in the blood pressure section, you'll see a list of devices that have been internationally tested and suitable for home use and approved by the British and Irish Hypertension Society. When you go to purchase the monitor, you'll see that there's lots of monitors out there to buy. Some will measure your blood pressure on your wrist and some on your upper arm. For more accurate reading and for an accurate measurement, it's best to buy a blood pressure monitor that measures on your upper arm. Before you check your blood pressure, it's important that you don't exercise for at least 30 minutes. Avoid coffee, tea, caffeine, alcohol and don't smoke. Find a suitable place in your home to measure your blood pressure, a place that you're comfortable and relaxed in. Have a nice table that you can put your arm on nice and straight and flat and turn your palm upwards as well. It's important that you sit nice and comfortably into your chair and that your feet are nice and flat on the ground and that you relax for at least five minutes before you check your blood pressure. So you can put the cuff on your upper arm. You pop it on here nice and snugly. Um, this is an expandable cuff, so it measures from small to large. Um, you can also get extra large cuffs. Put it on that it fits nice and snugly, just above the crack of the arm here, and in line with your heart. And rest your arm on the table with the palm up where it's nice and relaxed, and your feet flat on the ground, and sitting nice and comfortably in your chair as well. Each device will have a different type of reading measurement or button measurement that you use. But in this uh, machine, it's a start button, you press it, and it measures your blood pressure. What you will feel is the cuff getting quite tight, but that's normal. It goes up quite tightly, and then it comes down as it measures your blood pressure. Just to mention it, in some cases, you may find that the blood pressure cuff keeps pumping up and up and up, or there's an error reading on the machine. This can be due to a fault of the machine, but it also can be due to the fact that the machine can't read your blood pressure, maybe because it's too high or too low. So in that case, it's important that you go to your GP and discuss with them the problems they're having with measuring your blood pressure. You can measure your blood pressure on the left or the right arm. It doesn't matter, you can do it on either. The important thing is when you are doing it, um, maybe to do a series of three blood pressures at that time, um, and you could choose um, the average then between them. We'd recommend that you do your blood pressure readings maybe over a period of two to three days. And you could do it first thing in the morning when you go, get up out of bed before you take your medication and then maybe again in the evening about 12 hours later just before you go to bed and that will kind of give you an average over a period of a few days of how you're getting on. If you're on medication for your blood pressure and you have hypertension we like your reading to be below 130 over 80 so that's below 130 for top number and below 80 for the bottom number. Blood pressure is a measurement of how hard your body has to work to pump blood around the body, how hard your heart has to work to pump blood around the body. And the average normal blood pressure would be around 120 over 80. But as I said, on medication for high blood pressure, we like your blood pressure to be below 130 over 80. If you're on medication for your blood pressure, it's really, really important that you continue taking that medication. Don't stop it. Even if your blood pressure readings are normal, they're probably normal because you are on blood pressure medication. You'll also try to make some lifestyle changes, which is really positive in terms of your heart health. So things like being more active, stopping smoking, reducing your alcohol, all these things go a long way to improve your heart health and your blood pressure. And of course, keep your salt levels down too. For more information and advice, go to the Irish Heart Foundation's website and you'll get your information leaflet that you see here. And lots of other tips and advice around how to manage and control your blood pressure. We also have support line nurses that you can talk to if you need any help or have any worries about your heart health. The number is 01668 Thank you for listening to me today. Be safe and stay well. Thank you.